guys, this is Al Morris. And I would like to show you today the making of my new single, Lost Forever, uh, which I produced here in my studio. And it took me a few years to finish the song. I had some few ideas, but I uh, didn't have the ideas to finish the tune. And finally, I found the time. I had some inspiration uh, to finish this track. Um, the track is available now on Beatport and uh, let me show you what I have done here. Uh, first of all I would like to show you the break uh, because I had the melody, the main melody and the parts uh, already done and I thought uh, it might be nice to, to bring in a new and a nice um, break, piano break into the song and this is the piano break which I'll show you here. I might already know this and uh, this break has this piano here. And so on with uh, much reverb on it and I've used for this Vienna Imperial. Uh, I really love this uh, piano. And also the pads, which uh, has this pad here, it's really soft pad. Which follows the harmony of the piano and also this pad, which brings in the atmosphere a little bit, some atmospheric sound. It sounds pretty nice together. And I have explored this passage or this break um, and put in this break because it was on 138 BPM and I have import this break as a WAV file, as an audio file into the project um, of the main track. Yeah, I load this track here so right now. And uh, for that I have used many instruments, plugins, so need a little bit time to load this project. Okay, but I guess now we have this track. And um, now we see this is the, the final track. And we go into the break uh, here starting at uh, 1 minute 51. <laughs> the piano part but it's filtered down a little bit without any effects it would sound like this with more higher frequencies and lower frequencies and also there's playing the the plug sound from the from the intro part which starts here or ends here And you hear the piano part here and 
still playing while the, the break is while the piano break is in here. And I've also bring in some atmospheric atmos sounds in here at the beginning of the break at two minutes and nineteen. This sound here. Just a little bit atmospheric, and also this sound here. And the boom sound with the crash cymbal at tw uh, 2 minutes and 19. Yeah. Alright. After the break, we have this. Uh, I thought it would be really nice if we bring in a really, uh, really nice um, synth and powerful synth. So we have the, the end of the break here. This passage I have used uh, three cents. The silent cent, this cent here. It's also sounding with a with a pulse uh, sounding and sounds a bit more brighter. And uh, the next cent. I guess this is Paya. So all three things all together. All right, and I've also bring in the the uh, atmo uh, the, the effect sounds in here. This passage and the bass lines uh, start here. Um, let me see the bass line this year. A rolling bass line together with the bass bass line pad, the deep bass line pad. to the main part at four minutes and three. Yeah, there's the kick, the, the kick from the beginning and also I've used to top the kick a little bit to, to get the kick a little bit more out of the mix. The kick I've also added a top kick only for the higher frequencies so in, in the mix you will hear the kick a little bit better. Uh, the percussion part in here has many uh, loops in it um, well, let, let us listen. Uh, the very first loop is this one here. Uh, with a bit uh, less volume than a little bit later. Um, a simple, simple clap, a hi-hat, offbeat, another loop. Yeah. And there are also some other percussion part, another clap, another loop for, for the left and the right frequencies, uh, on beat right, which also supports the kick. Without the right, And 
moment. Yeah, later, later you will hear an offbeat, offbeat a hi hat that starts here. So all percussions all together would sound like this. Yeah, all right. The effects part starting at the main part is here. And also I've added some, some transition parts. Some little fill-ins also at the B part of the main part. And it sounds really nice, especially this little filler. Bam. Yeah. Quite nice. Also another fill. Another percussion fill, like this one here. And this one here. Yeah. All, all four fill loops sound like this. Bam. All right. And yeah, what's maybe also interesting is the bass line. It is all of the bass line. The bass line. Uh, bass line. In the main part, we have five layers. Uh, first of all, there's the deep bass line, sounds like this. Just really simple and really soft bass line, I would say. The next bass line, bass line roller, you hear it already at the beginning of the synth in the main part and in the break. simple um, the next baseline layer is an add-on with another rhythmic baseline sinker also an addition to, into the baseline we start at the B part of the main part at 4 minute and 31 And so on. And the last layer of the bass line in the main part is this one here. It's an atmospheric bass line. And I will add the bass lines. The bass line before. The bass line add-on. Bass line roller. And the deep bass line. passage at 4 minute 31 there are also beneath the FX sounds and the percussions uh, I've added some some pads and they fill the complete sound and uh, the frequencies uh, of this uh, of the, the track and support the main melody and 
I've also bring in some plug sounds in here. Playing a complete new melody, uh, even with a piano like sound. Sinus plug. Oh, another plug, all three plugs together, and even another plug here, soft plug. And so on, with the pads. Also added a lead pad to this track, which sounds like this. This melody supports the main supports the main melody and this one here has some little variation so you don't only have the same melody supporting the main melody and I have uh, bring in some variations into this passage uh, and into this melody so uh, you have uh, some little difference in compared to the main melody. All right.